Clay, stone, our traditional building materials are what can be called matter is met. Matter is found on site. These materials are harvested in specific locations and in large quantities for the industrial use we make of them. But they are also present in smaller quantities at many of the building sites we choose, before construction even starts. What if we could use these resources directly in the building? Right there, right then. What if everything was already there on site? We could harvest rocks and logs, devise construction processes to use them raw in buildings, without any major transformations. We could harvest earth, extract the clay and turn it into building materials directly on site, as is still done in many places around the world. Scaling down and staying local by resorting to matter as met seems promising for lowering the impact of the built environment, which is what we aim at exploring in the Prinsugi project. As architects, we can reduce the overall impact by relying on three strategies of action on the life cycle of a building. Acting over the production process of the building, diminishing the amount of material used and the distances over which it travels, bettering the performance of the building during its exploitation, prolonging its lifespan and reducing its energy consumption, inventing more virtuous ends of life for buildings, focusing on recirculation by designing for deconstruction, and for reuse. At the Digital Design Unit, we have been developing a workflow we believe can help act by leveraging each of those strategies. Scan Print Assemble is a workflow starting with collecting and 3D scanning raw materials or wastes. These are then placed computationally in the most relevant place within the shape that is to be constructed. Connectors are modeled to link these pieces together and 3D printed. The structure is finally assembled by bringing together connectors and materials. Our workflow however raises many questions regarding its environmental impact. Each life cycle phase has its associated issues, relating among others to the novel resort to 3D printing in the building industry. Are the raw materials far away? How much shaping before printing does the material need? Is it prefabrication? With which printing system? Is it on-site printing? Is it combined with other construction processes? How do 3D printed structures perform? Must the prints be discarded? Can they be disassembled? Can they be recycled? In Printsugi, scan print assemble meets matter is met. Our first step is thus to scan the collected raw materials, this time, stones. To do this, we use photogrammetry, taking a large number of pictures of each stone to reconstruct a 3D model of it. Thanks to existing tools, photogrammetry is now a very simple step in the process. This is key to us, as Printsugi not only aims at making the best out of available resources, but also at being easy to share and implement. From the digitized stones models we can shape the connectors that will link them together, enabling their use as is and integrating matter as met, stemming directly from the places we built at, into the building. Connectors are printed with clay extracted from the ground we have harvested on site. Successive finer and finer sieving extracts clay, separating it from dirt and soil. The Printsugi project aims at developing tests and recipes inspired both from traditional raw earth construction methods and from material science assessments. The tests are intended to enable printing any clay extracted that way, tailoring the ingredients of the recipe to the particular composition of the ground, adjusting water amount and the potential additives to it. Furthermore, we aim at keeping these recipes as simple and as virtuous as possible, by radically restraining the resort to additives. The rock tower has been printed only with clay and water. We print with an off-the-shelf clay printer, robust enough to handle the variety of recipes we have been experimenting with. It also is small enough to be easy to transport. Instead of materials, we thus can move the printer only, bringing it to site to produce the necessary pieces. It is also easy to use, enabling us to follow up on our ambition of an easy-to-implement process. Our rock tower prototype shows promising results for the project. We observe reductions of the impact in several phases in the life cycle of our workflow, as well as promising venues for further research in others. Rock, clay, water, our material combination is kept as simple as possible. By using matter as met, we drastically reduce the manufacturing phase that building products require. 
By harvesting materials and 3D printing on site, we shrink transportation to the lowest possible. Scan, print, assemble. Our construction process relies on three core steps, kept very simple and easy to appropriate. Our proposal also challenges aesthetic and performance expectations, opening up changes in thinking habits towards more sustainable practices. Finally, by combining connectors and matter is met, we obtain an enhanced disassembling and recycling potential, possibilities that DDU ongoing projects expand further.